Hey Cowboys Nation, let's go for another round of news from America's team. Watch until the end so you don't miss any news and sign up to stay tuned for everything that comes out about the Cowboys. Speedy receiver passes on Cowboys despite visit with Dallas. The signs were pointing toward the Dallas Cowboys signing wide receiver Zay Jones. Instead, the veteran receiver is joining the Arizona Cardinals, per NFL Network. Jones took a visit to the Kansas City Chiefs as well, following his meeting in Dallas. Ultimately, Jones passed on both playoff teams to sign with the Cardinals. Free agent W.R. Zay Jones is signing with the AZ Cardinals, per me and Tom Pelissero. NFL Network's Ian Rapoport reported in a May 10, 2024 message on X, another veteran option for Arizona as Jones, who also visited the Titans, Chiefs, and Cowboys. Lance, Jones visited with the Cowboys on May 8, the same day Pelissero reported that the team was releasing wideout Martavis Bryant. Now, it appears the chain of events was a coincidence, despite speculation that the Cowboys could sign Jones. DallasCowboys.com wrote, Zay Jones is in the building meeting with the Cowboys, and the question becomes who is being put on notice with the possible signing. Cowboys News, Dallas misses out on Zay Jones to the Cardinals. It's unclear whether the Cowboys made an offer for Jones, they have spent only $16 million on 10 free agents this offseason, the least amount in the league according to Over the Cap. Meanwhile, the Cardinals have spent $146 million on 16 players. According to Rapoport, Jones' deal is for one year and up to $4.25 million. The deal negotiated by Zeke Sandu of At Clutch Sports ends a whirlwind free agency for Jones, who was released by the Jaguars after the draft, he tweeted. Cowboys rumors. Dallas changed their free agency philosophy, says Insider. Jones suddenly became available after being released by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Fort Worth Star. Telegram's Clarence Hill Jr. noted there has been a shift in how Dallas handles free agent visits like Jones. There was a time when the Cowboys didn't let a prospective free agent they wanted to sign get out of the building. Hill Jr. said said in a May 8th message on X, still may happen, but Zay Jones visiting the Chiefs is not a great sign. Maybe he wants to take all the visits and decide. What we know is the Cowboys, his daddy's team, didn't give him reason to cancel the KC trip. They never were going to make him offer he couldn't refuse. We recently saw the Cowboys also miss out on former Pro Bowl linebacker Shaq Leonard. The defender signed with the Philadelphia Eagles last December, after visiting Dallas following his release by the Indianapolis Colts. The Dallas Cowboys continue the trend of an underwhelming offseason. It is unclear how much of an impact Jones would have made on the Cowboys' offense. Given Jones' price, it would have been a low-risk signing that added speed. Jones ran a 4.45 second 40 time during the 2017 NFL Combine. The Cowboys released Michael Gallup earlier this offseason and have not signed another veteran to replace the starter. Dallas is hoping Jalen Tolbert can step up in Gallup's absence as the team's third wideout. On news of Zay Jones signing with the Cardinals instead of Dallas. Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy. I like the receiver room. I feel like our young guys are definitely going to make a jump. WFAA Dallas. Mike Leslie explained in a May 10th message on X. Proposed trade sees Cowboys acquire $13 million star RB. The Dallas Cowboys would be an ideal landing spot for one of the top running backs in the NFL in a trade proposal pitched by Bleacher Report's Alex K. In the proposal, the Cowboys would trade a 2025 fourth-round draft pick in exchange for Pittsburgh Steelers running back Najee Harris. K. wrote that Harris would likely be entering his final season in Pittsburgh after they declined his fifth-year option. He's currently in the final year of his four-year, $13 million rookie contract. By trading Harris, they would be able to get ahead of the curve and acquire compensation before he would potentially leave in free agency next offseason. Considering the Steelers declined Harris's fifth-year option, it's looking likely that the 2024 campaign will be Harris's final in Western Pennsylvania, Kay wrote in a May 7th story about trades that should still happen before the season. Rather than lose him for potentially nothing next spring and a lowly compensatory draft selection at best, Pittsburgh's brass could get ahead of the departure by securing some 2025 draft compensation for his services. Najee Harris ranks as one of NFL's most durable runners. The former first-round draft pick has been one of the more consistent running backs since entering the NFL in 2021. Harris has run for over 1,000 yards in each of his first three seasons in the league. He has the fourth most rushing yards of any running back in the NFL in that time frame and ranks second in carries, 834, behind only only Derrick Henry.
However, Harris has averaged just 3.9 yards per carry, which is among the lowest at the position. It's clear that Harris has established himself as a durable running back capable of carrying a heavy workload. However, it's also clear that he lacks big play ability and that there's a ceiling on his ability to carry the ball. When you factor in that backup running back, Jalen Warren possesses more big play ability. He averaged 5.3 yards per carry last season. The Steelers may have thoughts of shifting more carries to Warren. With that being said, the Cowboys are lacking viable options at starting running back. Dallas went through the entire 2024 NFL draft without selecting a runner. Meanwhile, they added former back Ezekiel Elliott, who has the most carries among active NFL running backs, and veteran Royce Freeman. They also returned Deuce Vaughn, Malik Davis, and Rico Dowdle from last season. However, none of those guys has started a single game during his career. Najee Harris's name previously linked to Cowboys rumors. This isn't the first time Harris's name has been linked to the Cowboys, according to Kay. However, NFL Network's Jane Slater's report shot down those rumors. While the wheels may not be in motion for a Harris deal to the Cowboys, it doesn't mean that it couldn't happen later. Such as before the trade deadline during the season, if the Steelers falter and the Cowboys continue to be a contender with a weak running game, a deal would benefit both sides. A fourth-round pick is far from the number 24 overall selection the Steelers used to land Harris, but it's become clear he's not a great fit in their offense, Kay wrote. A trade would benefit all sides, allowing Warren to take over Pittsburgh's backfield and Harris to get a fresh start as the top option in Dallas platoon. Harris would provide the Cowboys a durable and consistent lead runner, something that they're lacking with their current group. Cowboys $20 million starter could bolt for Chiefs, says analyst. The NFL offseason continues without the Dallas Cowboys having a new deal in place for five-time Pro Bowl cornerback Stephon Gilmore. The veteran played an especially key role in 2023 after the franchise lost Trevon Diggs for the season, yet Gilmore remains a free agent who Dallas is in danger of losing in the coming weeks. Bleacher Report's Christopher Knox believes the Kansas City Chiefs would be the best fit for Gilmore. The challenge for Dallas is Kansas City has more than $15 million in cap space remaining. The Cowboys cannot afford to get into a bidding war for the defender. Kansas City could instead turn to Stephon Gilmore who spent last season with Dallas, Knox wrote in a May 6, 2024 story titled, One NFL Veteran Free Agent That Could Help Each Super Bowl Contender in 2024. Gilmore was a strong performer for the Cowboys in 2023 and allowed an opposing passer rating of only 82.7 in coverage while starting all 17 games. A reunion with Dallas could still happen, but nothing imminent. According to Michael Gelkin of the Dallas Morning News, while Gilmore, a five-time pro bowler and the 2019 Defensive Player of the Year, might not be available at a bargain, the Chiefs have the financial flexibility to land him. Cowboys rumors. Nothing imminent. On a new deal with Stephon Gilmore, it did not even take Stephon Gilmore 20 minutes of game time to have his first interception with the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys are in an okay position at cornerback thanks to the emergence of Darren Bland and the expected return of Diggs, yet the coaching staff would likely feel a lot better with a trio of Bland, Diggs, and Gilmore. The Dallas Morning News' Michael Gelkin reported there is nothing imminent with the Cowboys potentially re-signing Gilmore. There is nothing imminent on a potential return for CB Stephon Gilmore. A person familiar with the situation said, Gilmore wore number 21 for the Cowboys in 2023. Yelkin detailed in a May 1st message on X. The Dallas Cowboys may not be willing to pay to re-sign Stephon Gilmore. It remains to be seen what Gilmore will command with his next deal. Gilmore just completed a two-year, $20 million contract and had a $9.98 .9 million cap hit in 2023. The veteran may no longer be playing at a Pro Bowl level, but still appears to be a solid NFL starter. Gilmore posted 54 tackles. 13 pass deflections, two interceptions, and a forced fumble while playing in all 17 games for Dallas last season. Pro Football Focus gave Gilmore a respectable 74.4 grade out of 100 for his play in 2023.